Hello, everyone. Welcome to your weekend edition of Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your weekend. Yes, uh, Friday, July 5th through Sunday, July 7th. Um, I hope everybody had a fantastic July 4th, if you are celebrating that here in the United States. I know I had a good time, <laughs> so much so that I'm getting a pretty late start today. So I, um, I chose this shirt specifically. It says, sorry, I'm late. My unicorn was sitting on me. My unicorn was in fact sitting on me this morning saying, uh-uh, bitch, you need to pull it together first. <laughs> so, okay, here we go. Better late than never, right? Anyway, so um, keep in mind that this is a general energy reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. I am currently still working on getting the Zodiac readings out. I, I, my goal is to have all of them done and out by tomorrow, July 6th. Um, so bear with me. Um, I'm, I'm doing it, you guys. It's happening. Okay. Um, also keep in mind that these messages are timeless. Um, just because it's dated for the weekend of the 5th through the 7th doesn't mean it has to resonate at that time. Of course it could, but if you find yourself being drawn to these readings after the actual date that they were posted and it resonates for you, then that is the moment for, the, that is the message for you in that moment. Yes? Let's get into it. So we're starting out, we have a pre-shuffle here. And it's interesting because when I was channeling the energy, you know, just kind of setting in, setting the intention of pulling forward the energies for the weekend, the first thing I saw was the color yellow. Now, if you're not familiar with me, um, if you're somewhat new to the channel, you don't know that I, when I channel for people, I often see a color which, um, you know, which, kind of guides me in what the message is coming through, what the message would be about. And the first color I saw was yellow, which represents, which, you know, represents the sun, symbolizes the sun. Um, it's a, it's the color of the solar plexus chakra. It's the color of, you know, willpower and action and all of that. And what we have here on, on the pre-shuffle, we have the sun, which is the color yellow. Okay, which the, the color yellow represents the sun. Um, the yellow, yellow also can, it can um, symbolize, um, it can symbolize communication. Although, you know, blue or the throat chakra is more of where communication happens or comes from, the yellow to me does, it, at least maybe it's specific in this, in this sense. There is some, some sort of communication happening. Um, or a symbolization or it's symbol symbolizing some sort of communication maybe that you want to communicate or that you are communicating um, but when, when, when we get into the rest of the energy here I'll explain why that makes sense um, but then also uh, on the other side we do have the tower and this is the opposite side of the tower that we saw than we saw yesterday um, the, yesterday we saw this side it came out it showed itself in the pre-shuffle. Today, it's here, okay? Um, it, it's really interesting how throughout the week, these readings have just been building on top of each other. It's really kind of cool. Um, so what this side of the tower represents or symbolizes or talks about is the mask coming off. As you can see here, you see that mask is cracked. Um, there's some more symbology in this that has to do with other cards in the deck, but I'm not going to get into that because it's so, it's, it's pretty long. Um, it would, I would have to explain a lot, but, uh, what it does kind of say is that, you know, the tower has been struck you're finding, or you see now you realize that, um, whatever was standing was hollow didn't really have much uh, substance or any substance at all. It was basically just a shell of something that no longer needs to stand. And you do see the sphinxes here um, from the chariot, which, oh, not the, was it, is it the chariot? Well, yeah, it's the chariot. And I'm also thinking the Wheel of Fortune too, because there are sphinxes on the Wheel of Fortune in this deck. But these are uh, the, the sphinxes of the chariot um, that in, in actuality, uh, when balanced, help 
pull you or take you where you're trying to go. But here they're kind of like going off in their own direction. Um, and then, so now let's get into the rest of this because it's going to tie it all in together. You have the Four of Swords here, all right, which is upright, which is a good thing. Um, you also have the King and the Queen of Wands, but the King of Wands is reversed. The Queen of Wands is upright. And both of them are you, are, you see both of their faces. You also have the Nine of Wands in reverse. So what this is saying to me is, for some of you, whatever, you know, this could be, this definitely could be a continuation of what we were talking about throughout the week. But for some of you, this is a situation in which the masculine energies, probably maybe within you, or this, maybe this is external, maybe this is two people, or this could be you. The masculine energy here is almost like, I, I want to say is kind of defeated, but not really. It's like the, the, the masculine energy here is being um, silenced in a way, and the feminine is coming forward. It, the, the feminine is stepping up now and saying, all right, look, we've got to do something about this. This is not working. We need to take a different approach. It's almost as if, especially with this four of swords here and the nine of wands, which is in reverse, it's as if um, someone is taking a break or pulling back um, and... It, <sighs> I really don't know how else to put this into words other than to say it's like the masculine energy is learning or taking a lesson from the feminine energy or is taking a back seat to the feminine. It's almost as if the feminine is coming through here and the feminine is bringing illumination, okay, with the sun. Yes, the feminine is also illuminating how this structure is hollow and it needs to be torn down. Something needs to be done differently. And so because of that, now you have the nine of wands energy. There's like, it's, um, this is, I guess this is where the, uh, the, the, the term or the energy of defeat is coming forward. Um, almost giving up, but not really. The nine of wands often talks about perseverance, but what I feel like here from the masculine side of the situation, there was a type of um, resistance that was really unhealthy, that was false. In, okay, well, now the tower wants to see that this, this tower wants to show itself in this way. Um, and the eye here is representing, to me, is in this situation, is rep representing illumination, seeing something clearly, and thus breaking it down, needing to break it down, needing to shut it down. And that's kind of what the feminine energy is doing here. I do feel like that this is mostly internal for who, for whomever I'm channeling this for. This does feel like more of an internal battle. There was some sort of resistance, some sort of wall put up, some sort of fight that was being put forward from the masculine side, which makes sense because the masculine side is the one that takes the action. Um, but the masculine approach to this in this situation, or at least the way that this situation was being handled was not sufficient, was not the right way to do it. And thus the feminine is now coming forward and saying, listen, buddy, we got to do it this way. Okay. Um, I am kind of feeling like the feminine here is somewhat of a silent teacher. But ultimately, this is a good thing. This is absolutely a good thing because of the sun that's here. This is the most optimistic card in the deck. It's the best card in the deck. No matter what negativity is coming forward in the reading, when the sun comes out, all of that is negated and it's saying that it's actually going to be much better than you thought. So we could be, we could be in an energy, we could be talking about some somewhat of a twin flame energy too. Um, in the, in the, in, in, in the uh, King and Queen of Wands, um, typically the King and Queen of Wands can be seen as the masculine and feminine um, when it comes to a twin flame situation. These definitely are counterparts to each other. But what I feel like is happening here, and, and this is more than just the twin flame journey or the twin flame situation. Um, it, this goes deeper. Twin flames are on the front end of this battle between masculine and feminine. It's not even a battle between masculine and feminine. The twin flames are here to help balance that energy and teach others to balance the energy within themselves. So that's why, yes, it does feel like this kind of is a twin flame situation, but also this is much deeper. This goes through, even if you don't resonate with the twin flames, um, 
if you're not necessarily on a twin flame journey yourself, this still could be affecting you. This could still is something that could be coming forward in your life. Um, it's it, it's a balancing act between the masculine and, the, and feminine. It's almost as if the masculine has in, a, in some way been defeated here or is feeling like they're being defeated. And it's really not even that. This is just a time to rest, take take a step back and work on seeing things from a different point of view. Four of Swords. I often see the Four of Swords as a minor arcana version of the Hanged Man, which is all about having a different or gaining a different perspective. Um, and in, in specifically with the Hanged Man being major arcana, this is spiritual enlightenment in a way, because often when you see the Hanged Man, he has like a golden halo around his head, which symbolizes enlightenment. So here it's like, so it's like the defenses are being put down in some way. This is a very humbling energy. In some ways, you may be forced, and I just saw I just saw 1044 on the counter or 144, which is funny. Um, but in some ways you may, you may be feeling like you need to just surrender at this point, okay? Like I said, this could be going on between individual people, like uh, two people, more than one person, or this could be something that's going on internally. I do feel like this is mostly an internal battle though, okay? But there's illumination here. Whatever the tower energy came and destroyed is now leading towards the illumination. The mask, the mask is being destroyed, okay? So even if we're talking about a situation, you know, like what we've been talking about throughout the week, if there's a family situation or whatnot, I, I do feel like whoever this masculine is that, or this, this, this um, masculine energy or whoever was acting from a masculine point of view, whether that's a man or a woman, um, is almost kind of needing to take a step back now. And a more feminine point of view is being, or a, I want to say a more feminine approach is being brought forward. A more compassionate approach is required in this sense. And it's not like it's actually action, action being taken in this way. It just feels like on an energetic level, this is what's being shown. This is what's being brought forward. This is, this is something that someone is analyzing, is thinking about, is, is starting to see in a different way. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. And now let's reset and let's, let's get into the actual the message for the weekend. Yep. All right. Let's give this one shuffle. All righty, kids. Here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our weekend of Friday, July 5th through Sunday, July 7th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay, so also, um, while I was channeling the first time, um, and I saw yellow, I kept going through it and I saw green and that green color just came up again. Um, and that is the green color of the heart chakra. Okay. There's, there's love or compassion being infused into this situation. And I don't want you to think that because of that, there's specific action that is absolutely going to be taken from this point of view. It might, it absolutely might, but don't expect anything don't expect any real change to be seen, at least right away. I just feel like I need to put that out there. Because I feel like as I'm saying this, there's some sort of expectation that's building. Um, and I, I would really advise you not to get, get caught up in any sort of expectation here, okay? Just allow the situation to flow. And if that really, ultimately, even if that means, you know, people going their separate ways and just dropping the situation, that's probably 
in some cases, that's probably what's best because as time goes on, the lesson will sink in and will be integrated. And so ultimately change will come. It's just don't expect it right away. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, cool. So let's see what we've got, guys. Best messages, please, spirit, for the weekend. For the weekend. Friday, July 5th through Sunday, July 7th. For the, damn. Well, shit. Well, shit. Okay. Okay. Oh, gosh. All right. Overall energy, we have the world in reverse with also the other side of the nine of pentacles, all right? Um, and the world, I mean, the world came out earlier in the week. And it's interesting because it, when it came out earlier in the week, um, it was the other side, so it was this side, and it was upright, okay? So there was an energy of needing or of wanting, actually, I think it was yesterday, wasn't it? I don't remember, don't, don't quote me on that. It was sometime during this week, this past week, um, from the first through today, which is the seventh. I'm sorry, the sixth, the fifth. Good God, Eric. Anyway, <laughs> um, and what we were talking about when the world came out before was when it's this way, it's like you're so focused on just trying to close out the cycle or get through the portal and change, get to a new cycle. Here, now we're talking about um, this is, on this side, this is you're completing the cycle and you're moving forward and you're doing it in a, in, a, in a beneficial way, but it's reversed here. This is the blockage. So this is what we're talking about. Why is this closing out of a cycle being blocked? Well, look at what has reappeared, the Four of Swords. And it came out in the same, on the same side, but this time it's reversed. And what this is talking about, um, especially coupled with this Seven of Pentacles here, Okay, um, there was a lack of tact in the past. That's what I'm getting from this Four of Swords in reverse here. Um, and this is why the Four, you're in, someone is, or you or whomever you're dealing with is in this state of Four of Swords now when it came out the first time in the pre-shuffle, upright. Now you're being forced to sit back and look at things differently. With this Seven of Pentacles here, it's like, look at what, Look at the harvest that you have here. Look at what you've planted. Look at what you've sown. What you're looking at as what you've sown, this, the fruits of your labor that really you are not so pleased with has to do with the fact that someone here did not... It's almost... I don't really know how to... I'm really having trouble explaining these things today, but um, someone didn't... It's as if someone just powered through with their own thoughts, their own beliefs, their own sense of empowerment, I guess I'm getting from this, and didn't really pay attention to anyone else that was involved here. It's very much, ah, that King of Wands energy. That King of Wands energy in reverse, especially, is very selfish, very self-centered, um, really only cares about what they want and what they're gonna get, what they can get from others, and and all of that stuff, and thus, the fruits of your labor are really not so desirable, are they? But don't worry about it. Don't fret because ultimately, you know, this is just a part of the lesson. This is a part of you learning how. Woof, 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 woof. Learning how to approach the just learning. Your expansion, okay, or whomever I'm, I'm, I'm you, you are connected with that I'm channeling for here. I mean, literally, I just got all of that from those two cards, but then these four cards here are completely explaining it. Knight of Swords in reverse, charging into battle without with disregard for who, whomever you are, who else, whomever else you're dealing with. Ace of Swords in reverse, Seven of Swords in reverse, Ten of Cups in reverse, okay? So this really kind of, again, we're talking about a family situation, Ten of Cups, um, for the most part. But it's as if someone just, 
someone just straight up didn't care. What I'm getting from this from this Ace of Swords energy here, um, someone felt that, and I wanted to say the King of Swords. Someone felt like they were king. They had the ultimate knowledge. They have that, like they're right. They're completely right about everything. You know, they don't even need to take a second glance. They don't need to take a break and try and look at it from a different point of view because they know everything. And that was not true. Seven of Swords in reverse. But you see, with this, this is all... I'm get, what I'm getting from the Seven of Swords in reverse is that at this point now it's being revealed just how deceptive this was. Like it's coming to light. Ten of Cups in reverse is, and on this side, I mean, honestly, the side we here doesn't really matter because the message from the Ten of Cups in reverse is that I want, what I want to say is this broke up a family or it's breaking up a family. It's like things will just never be the same. But it needed to happen this way. This is all part of the learning process. So with the world here in reverse, this is something that you're going to need to understand in order for you to step through this portal. Uh, this is a good thing, the world coming out this way as a, uh, uh, you know, compared to how it came out last time, because now it looks like you're actually facing the situation and not just trying to escape from it. And that's also what's coming through here with this Seven of Pentacles. You have to face the situation. And I just heard it's going to get better with time, but you can't rush it. Yes, things may never be the same. I really do feel like um, the matriarch or the patriarch of this situation kind of has a blow to their reputation, but it's necessary. It's absolutely necessary. Because this cycle had to be broken. All right? I know this feels kind of heavy and it sucks, but it's absolutely, it was absolutely necessary. And actually this is going to, this is in fact a good thing. Remember the sun came out in the first, in, in the, in the pre-shuffle. All right. And it was upright. Okay. So no matter, even if it was reversed, it still would be, it's not as bad as you think. And it's still going to turn out to be better than you expected, but you got to get through this stuff first, okay? You got to see it clearly. See it for what it truly is. All right. Let's get into the clarification now. Um, closing advice, a closing message here from the Tarot. And then we will get the... The, the closing message from the crystal mandala deck or mandala deck. Yes? Yes. Okay. So, closing message from the tarot. Any sort of advice here, please, spirit, in terms of this reading? Here we go, guys. Best message, please, spirit. Wow. Okay. Overall energy, we have the unknown. Some of you are questioning why this is happening. Why did you even have to go through this to begin with? And the answer is there are some things that you're just not going to be able to comprehend with your with the with the conscious mind. There are some there are things, I mean this I'm feeling like this is this is part of a major, it, it, this is part of a much bigger picture, okay? You're gonna just have to be able to be okay with the unknown. Also, you might be questioning what is gonna happen next. Again, you just gotta go with the flow. You gotta be okay with just being, with experiencing the unknown. Now, the unknown also talks about needing to have an open mind or a more of an open mind in order to understand the situation, okay? Now, moving forward, 
most of the message here has fallen on the individual. I do see this as two 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 uh, sides to the to the situation. We have here the individual that needed to stop for a second and see things differently in order to maybe get a better harvest. Um, but again, don't beat yourself up about that because ultimately you or they needed to experience this. This needed to happen in order for them, for their eyes to be opened, for them to be awakened to what was truly going on. So we have that individual here and then we have maybe the rest of the family or the other person, the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? You have the... I guess, for lack of a better term, the victim here. Even though I don't recommend that you play the victim here. We all, uh, everything that we experience, we need to experience in order for us to grow, even if you're on the receiving end of some bullshit. But the person or the individuals or the side of the equation that's on the receiving end of this energy and the aggressor over here. What you have for the people or person or part of the situation that was on the receiving end of whatever that awful energy was, you have the seven of wands. First of all, you're never going to, probably never going to allow something like this ha to happen to you again. Excellent. That means you learned your lesson in this situation. But there are blockages, there are barriers, there are walls that are put up now that this side of the equation needs to work towards um, uh, having you or this side break down. And that happens through their own inner work, three of pentacles. Them learning, seeking, trying to understand the situation. It's almost like needing to take some sort of remedial class in order to really get the foundation or the... the, the, the the basics down and solid and don't think that that this doesn't mean that you're stupid doesn't mean that you're an idiot or blah 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 it's just that there are some pieces some core pieces that that someone is missing that they need to go take a step back and go back and be like okay how what does this mean how do i understand this and then better themselves through that three of pentacles is a self mastery card here what else do we have we've got Justice, seven of cups in reverse, whew, and the four of cups in reverse. Sorry guys, my phone, I should probably put my phone on vibrate. Anyway, um, seven of cups, wow. Seven of cups in reverse, four of cups in reverse, and justice. Ouch. <laughs> okay, um, first of all, seven of cups in reverse is talking about like, no more confusion. This is probably clear as day at this point. Um, four of cups in reverse is probably the most, the biggest thing that I'm getting here is a sense of unrequited love. I'm just trying to pick out more of that. Um, there was definitely a missed opportunity here in that four, that, what that four of cups is representing. And that missed opportunity, it was a, a, a moment to like see things differently, see things clearer is what I'm hearing. But because of that, everything else that transpired, transpired and now justice is being served on this end of the equation, okay? You may not see this justice happening If you're on this end of the side of the equation, you may not see it happening, but somebody's going through it right now. There is, there could even be a sense of someone watching you or you watching someone else in order to learn through them potentially. Very interesting. Give me a second, guys. I just want to sit with this for a little bit and see if I can pull anything else out of out of here for you.
Um, someone may have lost some options or someone may have thought they had options and thus they passed up on a situation, on a relationship, what not, whatever, four of cups, unrequited love and a missed opportunity. But now it's coming out that you actually really didn't have many options or the options that you thought you had were not good and probably don't even compare to what you missed out on. Thus, justice is being served in the sense of you figuring out or starting to realize or someone starting to realize what you may have really lost here. Okay. All right, yeah, that feels, that feels about right. Let's close out the reading here. Let's get your oracle guidance. It really, you guys, it really did, and I, I think that I'm, I'm sitting here thinking, this is what I want to title the video today. This, whatever this is, this absolutely had to happen this way. It absolutely had to happen this way because someone needed to be shaken out of their own shit. Basically. Someone needed an ego check. Absolutely needed an ego check. It had to happen this way. Unrequited love is big here. I'm hearing that. I'm hearing that very strongly. I keep hearing that, unrequited love. But now what I'm feeling like is the person that was, um, passing up on a really good thing, 10 of cups, um, is now feeling that unrequited love because this side of the equation here is blocked off like hard hardcore defenses this individual or this side of the equation really has a lot of inner work that they need to do in order for this side of the equation to let their walls down i'm definitely getting a very strong sense from this side of the equation of you and no one else is ever going to hurt me like this ever again so you if you're on this side of the equation you really learned your lesson and that's a good thing. On the, if you're on this side of the equation, you got some work to do. And please don't take my tone as judgmental or or like whatever. Like this is a, this is a serious thing. But also, I want to let you know that all is not lost. All right, both of you. I want both sides of the equation to know that all is not lost. It's just that you know this side really has some work to do. This is the masculine side here. This is the feminine side. If that, if it's resonating with you in that way, if that, if this situation, you know, is between you, like between a masculine and a feminine, if we are talking about twin flames here, whatnot, whatever, okay, fine. Like, take it as it resonates, guys. Yeah. All right. Let's get your oracle guidance for the weekend. For the weekend. Oracle guidance, please. There it is. Oh, all right, all right. Card number 13, Archangel Adnacio and Tiger's Eye. What is this? Tiger Spirit Rises. What did I do? Oh, there it is. Hold on, guys. You gotta get the book. Ooh, okay. Here we go. Let's see what we've got here. Tiger Spirit Rises. We bring you the gift of the tiger spirit rising. You are being empowered with a truth more potent than fear. Your spirit is rapidly expanding beyond what opinion and logic can contain. It needs to be free to run wild with divine grace in the world. Your life, your destiny, your divine fulfillment requires that you have the courage to roar for love, to refuse to be put down, to respect yourself, and to let your untamed loving heart be free. Your spirit creates a field of divine electricity through your body and mind that can liberate others from conformity and social conditioning, allowing them to break away from systems be based in control and fear. As your tiger spirit rises, you excite and empower the tiger spirit in others to rise above conditioning as they discover the wild divine spirit being they are in truth. That's a beautiful message. Um, Let me, give me a second. OK. 
Okay, I want to read this paragraph here. When this oracle comes to you, there is an opportunity to break away from the tribe, to step out into your divine destiny in a new way. In time, you will connect with a new conscious crew, but you, you may have to take some steps on your own for a while. It is going to take courage, but you have that in abundance. It might startle some people around you who don't understand what, they are, what, what you are choosing or why. You might not even know exactly why yourself. If you feel an instinct within for growth, trust it. Your wild tiger spirit is rising and this is lifting you out of the world you have known into a time of increasing vibrancy and radiant loving life. Roar loud and proud. Your, kinder, your kindred tiger spirit souls will hear you and be drawn to your light. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee Monday morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.